but we didn't know you guys had this kind of connection. <laughs> and when you guys did, what is he talking about that you and O'Shea Duke betrayed him? What does that even mean? So I'm glad you came up here and uh, go ahead and explain what, what does he mean by that? Like during that whole situation. Well, for, first off, thank you for having me on. You know, uh, you're my dog. I appreciate that. I appreciate you giving me the platform to talk about this. I mean, you know, you know, you and I know each other. And one thing, you know, I don't, as a man, you know, I always talk about handling shit on the back end. You know, and I always talk about that to people that watch the show and everything. And I and I do what I say I do. Now, betrayal. Let me explain something. I can't betray just the... We are not in a relationship. We're not married. We're not dating. We're just associates. And that's all we are. And, right. and if there's a betrayal, it's really on his side for allowing two content creators to force his hand to fire me if you want to get a betrayal but I didn't even get mad at that so I, there's no betrayal because I never have ever spoken anything bad about him that I didn't tell him to his face or I didn't tell him on the back end so I don't I don't know where betrayal comes from because he's not relevant enough in my life where I gotta have him in my mouth Right. I, I just, I don't even know where that's coming from. But, you know, I, but we have the timestamps. So we'll go through everything. But, you know, uh, that, well, we got to play the clip and everything. I'll, I'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. But I'm just saying that there's no betrayal on my side. For I can only speak for myself. All right. So I, uh, be, before we even play the clip, did you want to give like a context to what he may be talking about? Like, what, what, what was that regarding to? Because I know, you know, the one thing I do know um, is that the whole Anthony studio, uh, Anthony, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what's his name again? Anthony Johnson. Anthony Johnson from 21 yeah. Studios. I always yeah. call him Anthony Studios for some reason. Uh, yeah. But uh, Anthony Johnson from uh, 21 Studios. I know there was yes. a connection with that. And there was a whole separation or a situation with him and Donovan Sharp. And he did his own convention, the CME, uh, things like that. So w was that part of it? The whole... I, I don't... Was I, that? Well, that was something between them. He, he just did his own thing. I mean, he studied what Anthony did and it's, it's just a carbon carbon what Anthony did but uh, to me uh, again I don't what, what goes on between him O'Shea Anthony or, uh, or anything, I think his name, all, all those people I I don't know because I always stay in my lane I don't I don't trip over it, you know those things man that stuff is none of my you know what I mean I'm, like I can say as a man I, I just ain't into that feminine female drama shit you know what I mean I'm not into the I'm not into the he say she say shit if things go down i will always handle it on the back end which i'll show my proof to you but everything we always do is handle on the back end as men because i'm not into that 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 crying ass shit so excuse my language but i'm not into all that so right so it, there's no betrayal because he and i were we, we weren't like he ain't in my circle of of, of road dogs you know what i mean yeah I did you wrong, it'd be a betrayal. If I did Lucario or 1950 and my dog, that'll be a betrayal, but he ain't in my circle for me to even betray him. Cause I, I again, you'll see that it's, <laughs> it's funny. It's just, and you'll hear, we'll talk about the whole story, but it's funny that he's bringing my name up and you never, you'll never hear me bring his name up except when he brought my name up. And when I sent him a message on the back end telling him I'm about to light his ass up, I mm -hmm. told him that was back end. You, I got all proof of that. Even when he fired me because of the two guys, I didn't get mad at that shit. So there's no betrayal on my part. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I, I just, I don't understand where that shit's coming from. But to, to say this much, and I, again, I, I'm not, I'm not nasty and mean. I look to say what he said without knowing my situation. See, I know his situation. I know his family situation. But again, I'm not that kind of motherfucker that put that shit out on Jump Street. Right. And, and again, his family situation, his family situation, I know about his family situation that a lot, hey, that a lot of people don't know about. Somebody that sits there and tells you about family, don't have family, don't get married, don't have all these things, Technically, might not. Can't say he is or isn't. I'm saying 
might not be living the life that you think that they live because that's what's that's what's going on with a lot of these guys. A lot yeah. of these guys are doing what is called kayfabe. If you mind me, let me explain that to. Yeah, people. go ahead, go ahead, please. Kayfabe started uh, way back in the day. It's the, where you can look at it in more, more modern times. Vincent Senior McMahon, who, when uh, wrestling had different territories, uh, Vincent Senior put all the territories together and created what is known as the WWF. Mm-hmm. So what he did was he created a kayfabe. And what kayfabe is, is he created bad guys and good guys. And the kayfabe was, was that they created the bad guy to make you think that he's bad off the camera. Like if he's an asshole on camera, that means he, you know, kicks cats and, you know, knocks over garbage pails and pushes grand old ladies down. That's the kayfabe. Make you think that what you see is actually the real thing. Yeah, in your life. Yeah. Right. So it wasn't until an Iron Sheik uh, documentary that I guess came on Netflix where where they broke kayfabe because the, the heels was never supposed to hang out with the good guys. But back then they had to drive on the road to go to destinations and and she got caught with a good guy that broke kayfabe. So what we're saying is, is that there are a lot of guys in these spaces that portray a role that they are saying that they're one thing. But when the lights go off, they're totally they're not what you see on air. So a lot of guys are kayfabe. They're they're portraying a role mm. that they're not really doing in real life. OK. Okay. So just to just to give you a gist of that, because a lot no, of uh, he 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 strikes me as that person. Even watching some of his content, it's like <laughs> hey, hey, uh, you know, hey, uh, you, you show know up to certain you, guys. You look at yeah. you like my first impression of Donovan Sharp is like, yo, this seems like a man out of place. Like, and I mean, out of place. Like he he doesn't even know himself most of the time, right? It, it's just it's just crazy. You can see that when he talks, it just didn't make any sense. Which is even crazier that people out there are actually following dudes like him, where it's like you can't see that this dude clearly isn't consistent. He what he was so i guess the message must be something but um let's get into this a uh, little patch of what he said about you and, uh, and to, to kind of go into like what what you meant by the uh what you <laughs> meant by the betrayal because yeah. i'm i kind of want to know what the hell he's talking about too but for content he's basically saying that um that this is him basically talking about uh, fresh and fit and before he said this he's basically saying don't trust anyone who's red pill or who's red pill aware right and he lumped o'shea duke jackson in that uh situation too as well and you and oh uh, i think he called he called o'shea duke jackson blue pill i'm sorry and yeah, then but, uh, he, yeah i'm sorry i didn't mean to but this is this is where i don't understand i was before there was even a thought of appeal <laughs> i mean see what i'm saying i'm not even yeah. I, i'm not part of a man i've always said it I'm not part of appeal. I'm not part of a manosphere. I just teach manhood. That's all I do. So that's even a false thing right there. We, I mean, we won't play the clip, but I mean, we'll talk about it, but I'm just saying that that's not me. Right. Yeah. And could have said all their so-called critique then. Exactly. That's why this was some, this was some nigga shit. This was some bitch. Stop, ass- stop. Oh. Let's call it what it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I gotta rewind that. Towards a video, uh, I'll be. Hey, hey, time out. Y'all think I'm capping? <laughs> Y'all think I'm capping, bro? Look how. Listen to how he says the word nigga, bro. That's <laughs> insane, <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. That gets me every you time, was bro. Like I'm like just that. like, yo, this this dude seems. It's, it's like, it's like. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> It's like if somebody came and shaked your hand and like their handshake was kind of limp and you just like, he looked, he looked like the person that could give you a strong, solid handshake. And it's just like, yo, uh, something's off. We got a black dude. This nigga. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> I don't remember that. But I just wanted to point that out. It's just weird. When he did videos on Skippy, videos off the net, uh, no one says nothing, but because, uh, because it's your heroes, y'all get mad. My issue with my issue with that, they sat with Fresh and Fit face to face and could have said all their so called critique then. Exactly. Come on, come on, come on. Wait, 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 wait. Can you, can you pause that? Right? Okay. I want you to remember what he just said because they could have handled it face to face. Remember that. Yeah. Re- remember he said it. They could have handled it face to face. So we're going to put them to the test later on 
to see if he himself is going to handle it face to face. I didn't mean to stop you, but I just want I, I picked that up. Oh, oh, bet. Let's do it. All right. So go ahead. You good? Some bitch ass nigga shit. Let's just call it what it is. <laughs> you sat in this man's house and had a debate with him. He spoke his piece. You guys spoke your piece. Then four months later, out of nowhere, you're going to talk about fresh and fit capping. You can't trust guys like Aubin Preach, man. You just can't. You can't. You cannot. Men who do not have red pill awareness and don't live the red pill life cannot be trusted by men who don't. And that's just all there is to it. Wait, wait, wait. So, wait. He said, and that didn't make any sense to me. Wait, wait. If, if Okay, so don't. So if you're not living a red pill life, then you can't trust that person, or can you? Tr- I didn't understand what he's saying. Can you trust? Uh, he said, "Don't trust a person who doesn't live that red pill lifestyle." I think that's what he said. Let me let me go back because this dude he, he talks out of his ass sometimes. Like <laughs> it's just so hard to understand. Yeah, bro. I don't- he spoke his piece. You guys spoke your piece. Then four months later, out of nowhere, you're going to talk about fresh and fit capping. You can't trust guys like Aubin Preach, man. You just can't. You can't. You cannot. Men who do not have red pill awareness and don't live the red pill life cannot be trusted by men who don't. Wait, Temo, he just said a man who do not live the lifestyle of a red pill cannot be trusted by men who don't. What? What 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 are you talking about, dude? Like, this guy's a fucking clown. This guy's a... What? I, I I, I, what does I, that even mean? <laughs> what? But, but see, trust is a weird thing. But because, like, in, you know, when I when I you know talk to him on the back, end, like, you know, he's from a pickup artist background. He comes from the seduction community that teaches nothing but lies, and manipulation. So you know, but go go ahead, man. You're you're good. Go. That's all there is to it. Anthony Johnson is a black pillar. O'Shea is blue pill. Steve the Dean is a house husband, man. All three of those people turned on me. Aubin Preacher, borderline black pill. They turned on Fresh and Fit. Okay, so nope. that, that and and that was that that was the extent that he said about you, where he was talking about calling you a house husband. You you turned on him, and you, the fact that you turned on him. That's what he, when he said that. I wanted to know <laughs> what the hell he meant by that. All right, but before we go ahead and do that, you're calling. I don't know why he's calling uh, uh, Abba and Preach black pills. They're not. I don't think they subscribe to any of that community. Matter of fact, they're outside of that. They just they just comment. That's yeah. it. They do commentary stuff. Yeah. They're not in the community. So calling them black pill is weird. Calling Anthony Johnson a black pillar that's also weird. I, I'm pretty sure <laughs> they're in a, they're in the manosphere like that. I don't, I don't I don't they they preach red <laughs> pill stuff. So I don't see how they're black pills. See, this is the problem with all this these damn pills, man. It's so easy to get all this stuff confused by even so called guys that get quoted by Fresh and Fit and some of these guys that are supposed to be like quote unquote heavy hitters in the industry. But go ahead. What does he mean and by the fact is- that you you be uh you're a house husband? I want to know what that means. And then I, you betraying him. I want to know what that means too. I I have no idea. It, it for some reason people come up with what they want to come up with because I just don't put my business. I always, listen. I'm always like this. I don't just put. I teach men how to be men. I don't talk about my personal life. I've been doing what I've been doing for over thirty years teaching this. This is what I do for a living for over thirty years. So. How can I be a house husband? I don't understand. Yeah. I don't. I don't understand that. I don't understand that shit. But because my take on it is basically like you're basically a guy that doesn't go out do much or put it put in a whole lot of work and you know things like that, which which is clearly false because you've been on a show multiple times. You even got. <laughs> I mean, you got a bunch of women turned it's, on, and let's face it, it, with the audience like ours, you know, a lot of the ladies love it when you come on. So I don't. The fact that he's saying that you're you're someone. Listen, I could believe you over someone like Donovan Sharp. I've we actually we've seen him on Fresh and Fit when he yeah. sat with the girls and how awkward he just makes them feel. So naturally, I already know he's not the type of person that's a people person. First of all, so the fact that he's calling you a house husband and kind of person that shouldn't be trusted yeah. in this space. That makes no freaking sense. Well, yeah, but I'm not even I'm not even part of that space, number one. But uh, uh, a house husband, I don't even know where that came from. Because if that if that was the case, why was he why would he deal with me the way he dealt with me? 
if I, if right. I do that, you know, why what, a house? I don't even understand what is it. I don't even know what the fuck a house husband is. What the fuck is that? A motherfucker that sits on his ass? Is that a, is that's probably he, maybe it's another word for beta male. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. Well, we we get we're gonna we'll we'll find out later on what that means. You know, right? So so kind of walk us through like the the whole Anthony Johnson and the Twenty One Conventions. How did they? How first of all, do you, are you familiar with how Donovan came to be a part of that organization and the circumstances that happened? Uh, where Donovan had to be kicked out of the organization, organization essentially, because Anthony Johnson came out with a scathing uh, video that was pretty long, that basically was all about Donovan Sharp and pretty much took him down. And uh, it was after apparently their split or what was going on. So if you if you have any input behind that, yeah, I don't have. I, I just I, all I know is that he he decided to just carbon copy. 21 he just carbon copied it and then took i can't say took because those guys went voluntarily over to his side and i guess they were trying to teach man <laughs> i guess they were trying to teach man <laughs> this would make me laugh man how the half the motherfuckers ain't even man enough to teach it i don't i don't i'm not trying to knock that shit but that shit was funny to me man i'm just like I like you know motherfuckers with game you like game will always recognize game man and if mm-hmm. you and I don't know the roster motherfuckers he had man I mean no knock on them but I would tell them to their motherfucking fans like I say now most of the motherfuckers in that game we just putting motherfuckers together right you know and then then rumor had it that he wanted to challenge what he wanted to do is he wanted to go because when a rumor I guess that Anthony when Anthony came out with the 20 the new 21 he came out with it. He Donovan tried to put out the 21 the same time, but most of his guys. You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. Ha! <laughs> Gay! That he had not jump ship but they we did the 21 and then all of a sudden i guess he had covid and all this other stuff and he couldn't do it so i don't know but I, again i don't I, I don't i just stay in my lane dog that's 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 what i guess i don't know if that's true i just i just stay in my lane and all that shit that's going on man i don't even know what so so because one, one of the things that we talk about too as well is and you talking about some of the guys that went over from the 21 convention over to uh the cme which is the dodgy uh discount shit that he 21 convention that he tried to start uh to compete with uh, t- uh anthony johnson mm-hmm. um so was myron Gaines was he a part of 21 studios and then later no. on became a part of a uh, cme how did he become part of uh donovan sharp's connection well my mine was like a project Myron was a project of Donovan's. We everyone knows that. Uh, a few years before, a, a few years ago, he was in the audience. Mm. He, he wasn't even. He wasn't on stage. He was in the audience. And you, you gotta understand how, I guess, smart Donovan was with this. And I give him credit. Is that he just did the smart thing. He he put him in the right spot with the right people. The Rolo Tomasi's and. All the mother dudes, all the mother guys, and and then he just started regurgitating all the stuff that they're saying, and then he just grabbed all their people. That's all. It was just a, it was just a quick way. See, there's two different ways you can do it. You can do it where you do blood, sweat, and tears, and do it the right way, or you get around a bunch of guys who already have built-in uh, audiences, throw him in there, and then because they accepted him their audience would accept him and that's how they like blew up that that was the blow up so mm-hmm. it, it was just Martin just how down and I can't again I can't knock his hustle that but it was his project yeah that, that was that was a because he came in I think as Donovan's guest I think he came in as because he was watching but he came in like a, he was not a guest but he he wasn't a guest on stage he was just he was just like a nobody that was in the state that had no no he was just there is watching yeah, one doing shit, but again, <laughs> it, it, it's just funny how I don't know. I can't. I ain't gonna knock it out. It, it's just hustle, man. But people, but see, people don't understand enough game to understand what real game is. So they believe right. 
all the shit, you know. So it's just man. okay. So that so you mentioned before like being fired uh, with 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 Donovan. Yes. Like, what was that all about? Well, that what happened was okay. So I was on I was on a show called the the Seven, right? So it was uh, Donovan, Kevin Samuels, uh, Solo eighty four, Myron, and Lucario, and Minister Jap and me. I think that was. So we're on the show, and and uh, Solo eighty four was like, "Hey man, I didn't have confidence before. You know, I never had confidence until I made money. Once I started making money, I had confidence. Then I just said, you don't have confidence because the confidence shouldn't be in the money. You should have the confidence. So so it, it blew up there. So he, I, and Myra on the back end, and we had a little powwow. Uh, mm. we, had, we had a powwow." And once we had the powwow, because I I told I said every I told Myron every time you say something I'm gonna check all that shit you say because that's all I've been doing because he was saying you know every time I say something you're always you know like shooting it down because I said you ain't got no motherfucking game and I said every time you say something I'm gonna break down your shit to show you don't have game right I, that's what I told him. so then I get the you now if you could pull it up I yep. get I get the tech now remember. This is just a this is just a firing and, and again I didn't get mad I didn't get angry but let let's pull it up and show everybody the truth uh let's see uh I think it was the the, the gray the gray yeah the gray did start the gray right there yeah right here yeah yeah they, yeah I think that's the first or the oh wait let me see if that's the first one uh no that's not the okay that's at the end that's the end so we go to the other go all the way that way start there yeah that's the one okay. See? See that what he said? Look at that. See? <laughs> you think I'm lying. A couple of guys on the panel, Solo 84 and Myron Gaines, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, on your panel, we're dropping out. They say uh, because they're not one to violate anyone's privacy, but they can probably guess who they were. We know who they were. I spoke to them all week long, making it, trying to work it out, but apparently there was a blow up on the air, like I told you there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wasn't there, so I couldn't say. Well, let's go to the next one. Uh, where is it at? Uh, blow up. So I couldn't. Uh, okay, it, was, it was, wasn't, wasn't. But according to these guys, those two, whatever you told them really pissed them off. And they said the deal, it was a deal break in terms of being on the panel with you. So this is a mathematical decision. I can either lose two guys. See, now this is, now this is, now this is his business. Because again, so. It was a man with the on his show, but just, again, just, just to be clear, you're talking about Solo TV and four, and who's the other gentleman that Myron, had the issue? And Myron, Myron Gaines. So right. the two guys that apparently didn't have what he was, t- what it takes in terms of like the like, and I don't say have what it takes, but right. what they were talking about it, just they didn't know what the hell they were saying. And yeah, you right. called them out of it on always, the show, always, and on the back end, on the back and end, on the back right. end. Okay, okay, right. and then afterwards they were basically like, okay, well, yeah, this we, guy, I can't do business with them. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so he don't because he gonna blow me up and make me look like a fucking fool. So again, he said I can either lose two guys. Right, I'm sorry. Yeah, he said I can either lose two guys or uh, one. So I decided to remove you from the show. Trust me when he said. See, okay, go to the next one. He says, trust me. Uh, where is it at? Trust me. Uh, I when I tell you, you it's something. I, I, something uh, this is not something I wanted to do. Or if I have to think cooled off, they reconsider but after seven decisions made, clearly. I mean, again, and then he said all this stuff, okay? And, it's, and again, it's strictly business. So it's not, listen, still not mad. Still didn't feel betrayed or anything like that, okay? N- nothing at all. I, I was I was cool with it, okay? So let's go all the way to the first message, if we go to the first one. Now, and I don't want to show you this. Now, now, this is behind the scenes. Now, remember, this is Donovan bringing my name up talking about me i never said i never said anything bad about him at all but like i told you as a man business hand on the back end this is why i sent them all right it's about the shit you said i sent a link and i said a nigga with no game trying to tell real niggas with game what the fuck he thinks all right yeah, go to the next one <laughs> I did, yeah and i told him we we're playing the clip this is what i said okay now this one now this was a this was the one that when when uh I was something happened, I tell let's talk. He said, I'm not mad at you. I told him, you need to hear. no, this is when he fired me. I told him, let's talk, I'm not mad at you, okay? There's two sides of the story, right? You only got one side. I said, I'm here, call. That's like, you see that? I'm like, hey, again, 
there, there, there's no, and then when he's, I think he wasn't feeling good and shit eh, uh, around that time, I think 520 something. I said, I hope you're okay, stay up. Does that look like betrayal? Anyone know, does that look like betrayal? It's on the back end. It's the back right. end. All right, so let's go to this one right here. So then I said, okay, I told you we're good, but I see you full. Now this is because he was talking shit about, he kept bringing my name up. And he kept bringing, what is, he was bringing up because he was trying to say that, you know, the game, you know, they don't understand. You got to understand something. It was something that he was saying that we did a show on it. But listen to what I said, see? I, and then again, this is on the back end. I never made a video. I never said anything, dude. Like I told you, D. Yeah. I handle everything on the back end. And this is the message I sent him. And I, this is what is that like? I sent, and you'll see, I, I, sent, I sent that shit to his email and I sent that shit to his Instagram to make sure he saw so he will know that when I'm going to talk shit about him, I'm letting him know. I, I, I didn't say anything on the front end. All I'm saying is this, okay? See what I'm saying? Call him a fuck boy. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And I said, you never let Till, I told him about the two kids, the two, you know, two guys, tell you what to do. Go ahead and say, hey, uh, congrats on your marriage. Just keep my name out of your mouth. You see what I'm saying? Why are you, yeah. I'm, I'm saying this on the back end. Do your thing, okay? When you man the fuck up and call, I said, I'm here. And, and, and then go to the, uh, that, that's that one. Then let's see the next one. What's the, uh, the next one there? So then what I did, and you can see it was seen, okay? I sent the same thing to him. I sent that thing. I said, okay, I told him. No, go over to that. Go over to the last one. Wait, go, go out of that one. Go to the one beside that one. This okay, one? That one? Wait. Uh, okay. I said, I said, well, you know, I told him, call him. We didn't talk about the video you did. See what I'm saying? I tried to talk to him, okay? All right. So, you know, I'm just saying, you know, all right, whatever. Okay. So then go to the last one. Then the last one, I told him, look, I'm, I'm sharing you link to let you see, okay? I said, we're going to talk about that bitch shit you said on the show. That's all I was saying. Mm -hmm. And I said, a nigga with no game trying to tell two real niggas with game with the fuck he thing trying to play. But you can see he saw it then. Yeah. He saw it then. So, but one thing you'll know is you've never heard me talk out about that man. So when you say betrayal, where where, where where's the betrayal at? <laughs> where, where's the betrayal? Everything, everything you see was on the back end. Now, I've never, it never went on the front end, except the time he brought my name up. Then we had to talk about that shit on the on our show we did. But outside of that, as you can see, I, I got the proof. I don't ever, I don't, I don't know where he talks about me or brings up the trail. But as you can see, I never brought his name up ever, ever, ever. But what I would like to do, I mean, I know you got some more questions, but I'd like to do whenever you're ready. I'm gonna call him live on the air and leave him a message on his answer machine to show you that how you do shit. You don't, you just, you handle it. Shit, let's um, do it right now. Shit, all right. Fuck, let's call him up right now. Right now. Shit, right. let's make it happen. All right, say, let me see, contacts. All right. Let's do this. All right, there you go, let me show you that shit. Can you show his name, shit. Yep, that's his name. Hello? The number you are calling is using RoboKiller to identify and block unwanted callers. The number you are calling from has been blocked. Okay, you can so, choose to leave a message, but the party may not respond. Okay, so so he, so he blocked me. So let me call him on. Hold on a second. I'm going to call him on this other number. So, he, so again, as you see, he blocked my number, right? So hold on. Hold on. He didn't. He didn't block my other number. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna write his number down. This shit. Yeah, but he blocked me. As you can see, he blocked me. But we'll call him. Let's see here. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll, I'll do it on Skype. Call him on Skype. Let's call him on Skype. He ain't blocked that shit. So we'll call him again. You, you see, he blocked me, but I'm just showing you, man. I, this, this is how you handle it, man. All right, so I'm gonna call him right now. I see. Um, okay. Oh wait, that's United Kingdom. Let me switch that to the United States. 
Okay, here we go. Calling him right now. In a blood minutes. This number is using RoboKiller to screen their calls. Please say your name and the purpose of your call, and I'll try to connect you. Yo, Donovan Sharp, this is the Dean, and we will not need to have a powwow. I'll be in Vegas in December. If you want to talk, we need to talk. So I don't know if you're going to answer it, but as I said before. Thanks. Oh. You're going to answer this. Leave a message. Thanks. Hey, Donovan, what's up, man? It's the Dean, man. I see that. Oh, excuse me. It's the house husband. So this is what we need to do, fam. Uh, when you are free, let me know where you at in Vegas. I'll be in Vegas like in December. So uh, we can sit and have a little powwow because I really feel that if you saying those things on air, by all means, you should be able to say that, you know, one-on-one when we talk we need to we need to talk big dog so uh when you get this message just let me know uh you want to meet so we can discuss this because you know like i always tell you i handle things on the back end still didn't say nothing about your family situation but you don't know my family situation say what you said or even bring my name up dog so i'm just saying bro when you get this you know where to find me you can unblock me unblock my number you know what it is you can call me and you can set up a time. I'll let you know when I'm, if you're in Las Vegas, I'll let you know when I'm coming in December. And we don't need any cameras. We don't need any phones. We just pick a spot and you and I talk to each other about these things that you're saying. That's all I'm trying to say, brother. So I hope you I hope you can reply back to this because, you know, it is what it is. So we'll, we'll see what's up. Because if you don't reply to this, I'm gonna leave it alone because I just figured that you just all talk then. I mean, because you, you can't talk a big game on your shows and not show up. So if you're talking that big, big boy stuff, then bring your big boy ass and let's talk. And you let me know and I'll be happy to come and talk to you. No cameras know anything okay i look forward to hearing from you big dog okay there you go i don't so, think he's gonna get back well but i mean that, but, that's my personal opinion he's, but, he's but do you see I, I i didn't i just told him but see this is this is see i this is something i would handle the back end but i want people to see that look look i'm listen you handled it, man. There was no threat to that. <laughs> this is we talking. And so if you want to talk that yak, then we talk, right? That's it. But there at no time did I threaten or say anything bad. I just say, hey, let's talk. You let me, and when I'm in Vegas, I'll let you know. Just let me know where you want to meet. And we could put we could put all that stuff on the sideline and discuss that stuff you said. But again, if he doesn't, again, if he, he doesn't have to say anything because he probably won't. But it goes to show, like I said, I, what can I do at this point? Yeah. I mean, there's nothing I can do. He can say, he keep breaking my name up over there. But I just put it out because if you about, see, the thing about people got to learn about the game. If you, if you about popping your gums, you should be able to back that up. Because that's the, remember he, he said it in his, his audio clip. Did he, did he not say that? He did. You should handle it face to face, right? Yep. So we should handle this face to face. But that, that that that's the thing with these guys, though. They they say something they don't believe. They act like they're in that tough guys. Same thing with the uh, fucking Myron Gaines. You know, Myron Gaines, uh, fresh and fit. You know, the whole the Rolo Tomasi. They're all in that tough guy. Well, with, with Rolo Tomasi's case, he's trying to be a, a pretentious. Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, intellectual. He's he's really stupid. Listen, anyone who lo- loses a debate to Lauren Southern, who just who is known for regurgitating right wing talking points. I'm sorry, bro. You you're just not that smart. So he you, that means your ideas aren't that. Fucking clever and you're easily exposable 
the problem is a lot of these young guys are coming in and they're not understanding the truth from what what it is that these guys preach but a lot of times these guys are usually just fake you don't know what it is that's going on the back end but there's a lot of fake and forgery they don't live that lifestyle well it's not just a, it's not just a lot of fake and forgery the, the, the biggest issue that a lot of young men don't un, don't understand from these guys is see you if, if you look at things now it's so now as a, a child it's okay in the kindergarten to be gullible naive and disillusioned when you're a little kid that's that should be it you know you think there's a santa claus and all that other stuff as a kid you're disillusioned but when you're a grown man and you think the game and i've always said the game will never be about women so what are we bitching about if the, if the game if women have nothing to do with the game itself then what's all that what's all the content for that they have because all they do is what what is the main thing they bitch about women right complain about women that's not the game but again what what young people have to understand is how the pickup artist community was back in the early 90s and the late 2000s and they don't a lot of young people don't understand what is going on today because before there was a okay before there was a okay if there was and this is always a question i asked a lot of people when i was on instagram and i'm asking you what what would they be if there was no matrix if there was no movie of the matrix that was i guess written by a woman i think it was a woman that written that yeah but, but if there was no matrix what would there be would they be a red pill would they, what would the community be if there was no matrix because the matrix came out in 99 so people think the world began in 99 when the matrix started you see what i'm saying yeah so and what, that, that that was part of the whole reason why don uh not don uh, Roland tomasi came up too with his books because he was able to link uh the red pill knowledge to like that whole matrix era but tied to the truth about female nature versus mm -hmm. the truth about like the reality of society you live in and then it come to find out it wasn't even the truth about that it was the truth about a trans person coming out which I don't know how you get that from the Matrix, but okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, but uh, again, people, it, it's words. Like, and I can go to the second phase of the kayfabe thing because the '90s they had what was called the Attitude Era, okay, and they didn't necessarily do kayfabe. They used words to connect the audience with the wrestler. So what they would do is they would come up with certain words like the rock. You know, the rock would grab the microphone and say, if you smell, la, 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 la. And then what the crowd would do, what the rock is, is cooking. Right, connect with the rock. Or when Stone Cold said, because it's because Stone Cold said so. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everybody had a word that connected the audience. So the marketing scheme, okay, back in the early, like the squeeze page, the squeeze page was big in the early 90s, late 90s and 2000s, early 2000s. Yep. So the squeeze page now is the connecting, connection of words and phrases that that connect these men to these guys that think that, you know, it's interesting you say that because like you hear that repeated a lot especially in donovan sharp case because that's where a lot of the fresh and fit uh when they get their fra uh, phrases discovering trump's disclosure and all these different things that they come up with it is stemming from these phrases that you're talking about to connect with them because a lot of times that's what you see regurgitated along the manosphere at large you see some of the same guys saying the exact same thing aside from like oh shit dude i mean he's he actually tends to keep it pretty original uh yeah. but you see some of these other guys that came up through the network um, uh, uh, Donovan Sharp, uh, Kevin Samuels, Myron Gaines, they all came up through the same network. Um, and you see him regurgitating similar stuff. But with Donovan Sharp, it's a little bit crazier because he does stuff where he puts the words backwards and he says these little, like, as whatever it is. It's weird. He has these little backwards terminology, three or fours and whatnot, that people even say here on this channel, right? They'll call them girls three or four. I'm like, what's the three or four? Oh, H O E backwards. Oh, okay. I see what but, you're talking but, about. But, 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 that's what I'm, but that's what I'm saying. The, the 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 problem is is that you're learning someone else's language and you're looking at someone's lens and how he sees the world versus how you see the world and it was the same thing with the pua the puas did that in the 90s and the 2000s because what they did and again i don't want to get into to, to race and stuff but we got to get into it now but basically you know, we can go all the way back to Elvis or even beyond Elvis Presley because people think Elvis is really the king. When you hear the king of rock and roll, you automatically think Elvis Presley. But no one talks about how Elvis went across the street and stole from black people. Mm -hmm. Stole 
though you know was Rosetta Thorpe that was playing rock and roll, but no one talks about that. But you know, all all throughout this 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 decade, the centuries, but you know, people have been stealing from blacks. You know what I mean? Taking, yeah. taking from blacks and making it something, just taking a little bit of it. So that's where the the guy they came up with this thing called the game, right? You know that, yeah. that fake ass PUA book called the game, which Donovan came from. Mm-hmm. That, he was a he came from that book. Okay, you know, that book. So, but the game was not game. The game, the game was a systematic way to try to get these guys to use certain words: neg, escalate, uh, uh, day game, night game, uh, all those words. They tr- they created their own language through this book to try to get women <laughs> and they called it game and that's not game but the way it was marketed it was marketed like a bible so it was like a kind of a religious connection thinking like you know okay this is the, the bible of the game which spawned the seduction community but what people don't understand if they do their history lesson uh, d is that in 2007 yeah now you notice now remember the game came out i guess in the, the 90s or the early 2000s around there but well, here's the here thing. There was no pills. There was no metal. Mm-hmm. No uh, hypergamy. There was no female nature. There was no no fat. There was not be on your uh, purpose. High value man. There were none of those words because they were living high off the hog. Because yep. women, were, they they created, uh, uh, and I can give you the link where you can post it on your on the thing to show people. They had what is known as. Um, uh, uh, what are those things? Um, it starts with uh, uh, what did the PUA called it? It was all over the world. Uh, it was a thing they had all over the world where they would go around and pass recipes all over the world. Matter of fact, matter of fact, while we're talking, I'm gonna send it to you on the back end. And maybe you can grab it. It was called a layer. Okay. All right, so let me layer. see if I can pull it up. Right, let me see if I can if I can pull it up and send you the link. Hold on. Uh, hold on, let me see. Hold on, I mean, because I mean, it, we're gonna get to the. We're gonna show you this. Uh, let me see. P U A. Okay, just type up P U A layer list on if you can, and then you can look at. Let's see if we can show you a layer. Are you? Are yeah, you just pull up. It? Yeah, I'm about to send it to you right now. I just want to grab it. I just want to give you. Okay, here you go. This is the layer list. Okay, I'm gonna send this because I'm gonna show you that this was going on before there was. Even uh, Met Tau and all this stuff. All right, so I'm gonna send it to you right here on the back end, okay? Because I want you to I want you to show proof that this was going on. Remember, women didn't know any. I sent it to you in the back end. Women didn't I even got know, it. Women didn't know anything about this, okay? And what you'll see at this point, this is the layer list. Now let's scroll through it. Scroll. It was all over the world where guys. Let me see if I can like, zoom in a little bit too. There we go. There we go. Now let's let's look at that list. Let's scroll and let everyone see. Look at look we're all over the world. Look, Argentina, Australia, all these <laughs> keep going. All these guys all over the world were learning how to manipulate and deceive women. Now, this is before there was a metal. This is before there was a um a, a metal, uh, there was be on your purpose. They were never complaining about women. They were not. Uh, women were not the enemy. None of this. I'm just showing you the proof. Then I'm going to send you something else to show you when everything changed. Well, I'm going to show you the date of the change. That we Everybody's getting a deep history lesson to show how deep the game is. I'm going to show you. Let me send it to you right now. Let's see. I'm going to send it to you. Uh... I'm going to keep scrolling for the, for the yeah, folks, too. Yeah, keep going. Keep scrolling for me because I'm going to give you this one. All right, uh, let me see. VH. All right, hold on. Let me show. I want it. I want people to see something because I want them to see when they notice the change happen. All right, so I'm going to send this to you. Once you while you know while you're you're scroll scrolling because uh, let me see here. Let me find that shit. Okay, hold on. Now, I'm gonna show you when the. I'm gonna show you when the world changed. Okay, this is this. I'm gonna show you when. Everything changed. This was the day everything changed. Okay, I'm gonna send that link to you right now. But I, I'm still sure you're still scrolling. But you see, 
all around the world. That's crazy. Same you know, people don't know about that. All around the world, you see that every yep. corner of the world, they would have layers where they will go around and they will pass recipes on how to manipulate and deceive women all oh, and literally all over the world. Yeah, and you you're just in the seas. <laughs> yeah, you're just in the seas. Look at that. All even in China, Colombia. Look at that. See that. This layer's been around since 2000. Remember, they were, remember, 2003, no red pills, no problems, no issues, everything is fine, living high off the hog, and everybody sitting around. It's Czech Republic. See that? See that? That's wild. All, all, all over. Look at that. I'm telling you, people don't know about this. And like I said, I always say, don't believe me. Do your research, but people aren't really researching. But let, there you go. Look at all these guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all these layers. In France, a France layer. Paris. Wow. I see that. the other link here too. Yeah, and that other link, that's where the game changed. That link right there is when everything changed. The link you're about to play right now, um, blow that up because this was the beginning of the end because once it became mainstream, okay, once it became mainstream, what happened was this show went on VH1. I think it was August. Let's see the date. It should have a date on there, uh, unless I unless I give you the one with the date. But it was. Let me see. Is there a date. Uh, let me see. I see one right here. Two thousand eight. Yeah. No. 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 There you go. Right there. Right there. Dave, stop right there. Right here. Eight six two thousand seven was the end of the end of the road. And that 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 day was an if why. Let me tell you why. Because women did not know about the layers because the layers were underground all what you played first was underground women did not know there was even such a thing as a seduction community but in 2007 august 8 august 6 excuse me 2007 is when it went mainstream once it went mainstream women started to say oh you okay so you want to manipulate and you want to play games right right mm -hmm. so let's play games and then all of a sudden, now remember, before 2007, no pills, no meta. There was only two places. There was a voice for men and a shrink for men. One ran by a woman and stuff, but they weren't that big. But what happened? Once after 2007, that's when everything flipped. But no, let me show you another thing. Hold on, let me, because we let me educate you on this one. It's going to blow you away. Peep game on this one. All right, hold on. Watch this one. Watch this one. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Let me pull this one up while we look. Yeah, they 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 didn't expect to get all this. Uh, <laughs> they didn't expect to get this. But let me educate them. Are you ready for this? Yep. What I want you to do is I want you to grab this, and I, and I can show you the guy. But I want to show you again. Now everyone was talking about this thing called no fap, right? Let's look at no fap. No fab is like not jerking up, right? It, yeah. it, it, it's gotten worse because uh, we did a we did a, a, a video on this too as well, and uh, it was crazy because this dude was talking about they call it the uh, semen retention, right? Receiving, but okay. But let's go to the history of it. Keep scrolling up. Let me show you. Let me. Show, I want them to see how it now right there. No fab was founded by a web developer, developer Alexander Rose. After ready. After reading a thread on Reddit about a 2003 Chinese study. Wow. <laughs> Dude, hold, hold on. on. But you need to see his face. You need to, hold on, no, you need to see the dude's face. Hold on. Grab Alexander Rose. Grab Alexander Rose. Put his face in Google. Just copy his, copy his name and, and put, go type in Alexander Rose, no fat. Just type in Alexander Rose, no fat. And look at their, look at their leader. Look at their leader of this this movement. Is that a Rhodes or Rhodes? Uh, uh, Rhodes. I think it's Rhodes. Rhodes. Yeah. R O. Yeah. There you go. Grab his. Yeah. Watch, watch, watch this. Peep game. Go to images. Let's look at look at let's look at their leader. There he is, right there. Right. No. That's his, that's their leader. That's no. I swear, dude. I don't make this up. I don't make this. No, up. he looks like that dude. He looks like that dude off of Superbad. Uh, uh, Michael, is it Michael Carrera or something like that? Oh my God! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I, I 
think I'm big. Think Hold I'm up. Oh, no. I got to find I got to see this. This dude. <laughs> right. right. That's, hey, hey, hey. That's their hero. Do you understand, Do you understand how deep? How gullible these guys! <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, exactly. Oh, 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 so that guy scroll over to the top. Click on this. The, the second you click on. This. Oh, 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 so this guy went on Reddit and oh, read no. from 2003 and pushed the. Th see, do you see what? Dude, people don't see people never do that. Wow. They, they just follow blindly and think that it's something new because somebody said K faved it. And this is your hero. This is your leader. That's your leader. Read it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Read it up. <laughs> I can't. I don't. I, don't, I can't. Dude, I swear. I, I swear. I swear to you, dude. I I can't. Swear. <laughs> you can't. I swear. I'm not. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. That's wild. But do you? So that that I, I see, it, and that's the problem, man. And this is the thing that, that that's why, like, when we do stuff like this, it's very important because a lot of you guys, when you're listening to this stuff. It's important to know where a lot of this stuff is coming from. It's important to know where a lot of these guys over here get this stuff from. This whole one, one thing I'm starting to find out about this whole PUA and all this yes. stuff community, yes. and which is why, like, we're not, we're not, I'm not even like, like yo, I'm not the whole manosphere stuff. Y'all crazy. Y'all nuts because it's all a bunch of people who never really got women in the first place, who were long time, lifelong nerds who finally find success dealing with other nerds. That's the same thing with Donovan Sharp, right? And the whole uh, Myron Gaines thing, right? Myron walked in the whole situation saying, oh shit, there's a lot of fucking simps here. And why not? Why not just take their fucking money? Why not? Well, no, so it's crazy. I, know, I got something else to show you because I'm going to show you the leader of the one that created what is called the book, the game. Now he, now I'm going to send this to you. I just want you to look, hey guy, I, I'm not, hey dog, you think that's bad? This is the leader that created the the neg, uh, the, the neg, uh, uh, AFC frustrated chump and how you have to escalate. Now this guy, once you see it, that's their leader right there. This dude? I swear to God. That's this guy. dude. I, dude, I, dude, I swear. That's the one that created the book. That guy right there, blow him up. <laughs> I, that, I swear to you that, dude, I don't make that, that's, that's the, that's the, that's the guy. He look, oh wait, wait, which one? Which one? This no, one, that's this him. One. No, they're both him. That was, how are they both him? Because that was him before he created the book, oh. and then he shaved his hair. They started wearing goggles, black fingernail polish, tight pants, and boas, and they were teaching guys how to. That was called peacocking. Mm. That was the book. But this is the guy. Wow. So so when we talk about those personas, right? Yes. This dude, basically how reality. And then he decided, huh? Let me let me let me try to reinvent myself real quick. And I'm gonna stop book. looking at yeah, yeah, and I'm gonna just go ahead and shave it, put a little gauge in, look a little yeah. edgy, you know. Right, right. And so like I'm a, a fucking street magician over oh, here. Right, right. But speaking of magicians, let me show you who I can do the con you out of a card trick. Oh, no, but <laughs> Oh, no, it gets worse. Let me show you. Let me show you. I want you because you gotta, you gotta see this. Oh no, you. I want you. Oh, 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 oh lord. Oh, I'm, but we're educating those that's watching because I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just a historian because I've been around. I was around when all this was going on. Click on that one. Wait, do you see that one? This is how they were telling. This is part of the seduction community where that 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 sharp came from. Now wait, ready? Scroll all the way down. I just want you to wait. Your surprise is at the bottom. The surprise. Damn. Whoa. Yes, there you go. Rest my case. Whoa. That's how they were telling young men to dress because that's peacocking. That's pe black. You see black fingernail polish, top hats, goggles. That's 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 what they were teaching young men. And no one knows, no one knows about it. everyone. Everyone thinks the world started when the internet kicked off, I guess, but they didn't know about it. This is what this is what guys today who are having midlife crises were following back then that was their god that what these guys were 
running that book called The Game, I told you, that Sharp came from, because Sharp was a PUA guy, following these guys right here. But remember, no Metal. There was no Metal. There was no uh, going your own way. There was no no FAP. There was no be on your purpose. It wasn't about money status. It was none of that until that show came on where it became mainstream and women started to figure this out. And then women started playing games on the men. And then the men started getting upset. And that's now, that's where we're at right now. But no one has actually done the history lesson to see. Because I was through, I've been through, the, not through this. I was on the other side of the street. I wasn't doing this shit, but I was around when this was going on. I was around when that was happening, brother. Wow. But people don't even know. I mean, you're blowing D. You you had no idea, huh? <laughs> I didn't know. Listen, man, if 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 I knew that, like, if I was into this, like, red pill stuff, right? If I was balls dip into this, like, I was following it, and I found out that this dude kicked the whole thing off, bro, I would I would hang my hat in shame and just, like, take my L. <laughs> take my L and just go find something else I'm good at. You see what I'm saying? Because clearly, I don't. Listen, man, just so you know, before you realize who y'all getting game from, saying not, not saying that, listen, I don't know what his particular expertise is. All I know is if you go around public trying to pick up a girl looking like a goddamn video game of characters, <laughs> assassin character, I, you're not going to be very successful, bro. All right, well, let's like, look at, wow. Let's look at the, you want, all right, I'm always sending you the PUA terms that people are learning. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, this is, comes from the book. Now, they had their own language, okay? I'm going to send you a link of the PUA terminology. And you think that's bad. Now, remember, now now we're going to connect back then to here. Okay, here's the list of the PUA terminology. And, and if you click on one, it'll okay, here you go, here you go. This is, now remember, I'm going to show you how words, like I've been telling you before, how it connects the guys then. And I'm going to show you what they're doing today. But there you go. Click on that, that, that PUA lingo. <laughs> And there's a terminology list. Now, these are the words that they were regurgitating. These were the words that they were taught. This is their own language right here. Uh, all these things, A, D, D, girl. And if you click on it, it'll tell you uh, a definition. Like, uh, yeah, let's look at that. Look at what this. See that definition. A girl with an extremely short attention span who is a constant emotional stimulation junkie. Wow. <laughs> oh, they got a full definition here. ADD girls can be nightlife princesses who like to party. They're a game differently than gaming style is generally related to the club game. <laughs> what? Or you can look up her type of guy, usually tall, I'm a combi and fitch guys in the club. If you are one of these guys, they can eat, they can choose you by default. ADD girls are usually game via proper dance game and good takeaway. Since her attention span is so small and the escalations need to be high, be sure to talk to other girls and make sure she remembers you. Julian has good demonstration of ADD blonde in his free tour video. As gaming, these girls be alpha and uh, when gaming, these girls be alpha and memorable. Later on, stay with her as she tends to get drunk or lost later on in the night. If you can leave the club with an ADD girl, there's a high probability that she'll go home with you. Wow. Go, like, go to AFC. Scroll, go back and go to AFC. Because they, they use AFC nag. Go to use it should because yeah, in alphabet order. So let's see. It should be AFC. Uh let's see if we can find it. You gotta go up. Uh, I don't see. Have a, okay, they don't have an AFC. All right, they don't have the AFC. Uh you see night game, day game, negging. I mean, you go down, they can say they're all using these terms. These are the this is how they talk to each other before they were found out. This was the underground language right here. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, but, I, I want to know what a bottom feeder is. A PUA that's seduced or seduced by women who are way below him in terms of social value. <laughs> <laughs> a bottom feeder is a gay like who has to go after women who way below him in terms of social value. Sometimes this is due to a lack of skill, but more often it's the, because the PUA is generally attracted to trashy women. Or because he wants to protect his ego by only going after women he knows he can win over. Wow. Many PUAs are known to go dumpster diving every now and then. But <laughs> bottom feeders are men who habitually go after women whom society would generally consider to be unattractive. This can be... Oh, fuck. 
I can't oh, make this. I, can't, I swear dog. to you. I, I swear, this is I swear, wild. I swear to you, that oh. was that was. Now see, that was before 2007. Okay, so let me show you this one. Uh, let me show you this one. This is very important. Now, I'm about to send you because I want people to. Uh, I want you to show them this because they need to understand where it came from. Wow. Oh, oh yeah, there's a lot of education going on today, guys. They then okay, so this one. Look at this one right here. All right, click on that link. Now, this is very important. It's very, very important because this is the tactic that they're using today with that link that I just sent you. That's yep. the pulling that's up the right now. Right. Now, that's the tactic. Now, remember, this started in 1978, okay? So, basically, what it was was a bunch of knuckleheads that would go to the prison and the prisoners would scare them to a point where they started acting right okay so it was scaring them straight so what they you the, the tactic that the guys are using today on a lot of young men is scaring them by what statistics fake false statistics uh divorce because if it happened to dr dre it's going to happen to you um, stay away from certain kind of women because of this or women are bad you know if you meet a woman she's going to take you for your money scare tactics you know you're going to be in family court see that th this is where it came from scared straight something in 1978 that they took after 2007 because remember I told you before 2007 they were, they were eating high off the hog they were there was no met, the, the crazy thing listen there was no red pill even though the Matrix came out seven years after that, there was still no red pill. There was no red, there was not even a manosphere in 2007. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not even a manosphere. But look what happened. They figured out a way to start scaring these young men straight by creating cults to give them a cult mentality to show you how a cult works. And the cult works has what? Us against them. You know, learn our language. Learn how we speak, right? Which they, and they still use those P-O-A terms. And that's the stuff that you see in even nowadays, too. When you talk about the uh, cult of personality that these guys yeah. are creating. Because you see that when uh, someone like Myron Gaines will come out with something about what uh, Abba's wife, or not Abba's wife, Preacher's wife, what he said about that in the whole situation. It's just like, wow, like this is, this is crazy. Yeah. Like when we come out and criticize this and tell you that, hey, you know, this is wrong. People from his group, they'll call you cloud chasers. They'll do all these different terms. And you notice the term cloud chaser, I didn't really even you know because you hear them use it a lot right they use yeah. it a lot for all the other people and yet they're the same ones who are using other people's names to basically get proper popular off of so yeah. you see some of his audience come in and just the way he talks to some of his uh, the women and calling them clock chases and whatnot the same thing they come into your space and start using the same verbiage and lingo against you which is wild it's nuts. So you guys got to be careful who you listen to, man, because a lot of this stuff, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's it, it comes from somewhere. And I'm going to tell you this, the people who don't, it's not usually, it's from people who don't even, who have that problem and they don't have that resolved. And it's easier to tell you what it is to, to do than for them to get you go out and live that lifestyle. The thing is, here's the thing, because people who are already good with women, people who already understand this stuff, you're not going to see them, a whole lot of them in this space just because it's like, OK, why? But it's usually the people who don't understand this stuff that come into the space and then teach you, you guys this stuff. But you guys are learning the wrong things. I mean, think about it. Since all this stuff has come out, uh, since Dean was just talking about the whole history with, uh, of it, have men getting gotten better with game? No, it seems like they've gotten worse. If anything, guys do nothing else now but just complain and bitch all the goddamn time about women. Even on this, I'm like, yo, I can't believe, like, that's why I'm like, you know, like, uh, talk about this stuff, because all these guys talk about is just women, women, women in this space. It's all about women, women, women. It's like, yo, like, either come up with some fucking solutions or just shut the fuck up. Right. And, but see, that, but see, a lot of, a lot of guys, a lot of young men are confused, right? A lot of young men don't have a uh, mommy. I mean, dad in their life. So they look for guys that represent the same uh, characteristics as mom. So they, they take the umbilical cord out of mom. They attach it to someone that re they recognize through mom. Because what does mom do? Mom makes everything nice. So what do these guys do? It's not your fault. It's their fault. It's not, you're not to blame. These women ain't shit. You know, you're okay. They're not. 
Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you marry them, they'll take you for all you got. Yep. You know, just because, you know, if it if it happens on if it happens on the moon, it's gonna happen to you. If it yep. happens, it's gonna happen to you. And and it's to it's to a point where all where a lot of these guys believe that. And just like I was saying, like the young boys that are young men right now who were PUAs back then, the the uh the the suicide rate is really high. The 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 midlife crisis is really high because a lot of these guys back then believe these guys and thought this is how we get women this is how we have relationships and they get into relationships and they don't have no kind of foundation and the women run them mm-hmm. then they're going all mad and they're upset and all this other stuff so now they're upset now where now they have a place to go to because we'll take you in because you know what it's not your fault yeah so, and, then, and that's the thing it's all like soothing it's like soothing yes, lingual it's yes. like if anything i would hate that when someone tries to soothe me like if, if someone's going on i would much rather have you tell me what it is that i need to do to get to where i want than sit there and coddle my feelings like don't do that yeah because what that's going to allow me to do is to allow me to be comfortable in my own victim and i don't want to do that like literally if it's like hey this is why it happened and this is what you need to do okay perfect now it's up to me to fucking take it and go or don't but if i know i don't i'm gonna sit in the same spot and if i don't like to be in the same spot well then i guess i gotta go take action but these spaces it's like oh no it's okay it's not your fault it's a it's a woman's fault this is how they are and women you know the the, the modern day feminism is the reason why women don't submit to men anymore it's like you got to be worthy of a woman to be submit to be uh, uh to be of a woman to be uh, sum- able to submit to you in the first place if you're not that worthy person why on earth would a woman want to submit to some guy who fucking who does uber uh, uh for for a full-time job and doesn't really have much of a savings plan or a plan you're not even able to afford a kid or a family or have a stable situation so why would anyone come in and submit to you in that lifestyle it doesn't make any sense what they're not telling you guys to do is to put in the word to actually become men because they're boys themselves right and look, look at the next one that's gonna be the blow it's a mind blow because this is how they were set up for a downfall because they would come up with lot like this this is how they do it i swear to god it's the most amazing you had to see i can't make it up i couldn't even make it up enough to you for you not you got to see this for yourself blow this up they had this is what they would teach each other <laughs> this is called the mall opener <laughs> grab a stupid jacket off the rack and say whoa this is sweet i should try this on should i i should try this on now check this out then start moving to the mirror and hopefully she'll start to come then grab back another jacket the same one that you have so now both of you guys try on the same super jacket and look in the mirror as you both look the same put your arm around her like it's for a silly picture and look together look in the mirror together notice that this is extremely powerful because she is looking at the two of you together wearing the same stupid shit it's role playing that's like that that's you are like together or something already like a stupid couple then say we should steal these and watch her reaction as you either playfully go along plotting how you do it or she says no if she says no then grab her stuff and pretend like you're running out the door with it she'll tackle you and then you'll say you know what i know a better way to make money i need a rich girl and start qualifying her the same way a girl who cooks qualifier uh who cooks qualifier from the frame setting opener above this is <laughs> this is fucking stupid the, all this those is, at, the bottom, at the bottom those are different openers that they like if you go scroll down the, those are squeeze all- my ass opener let's see this oh <laughs> shit me well check oh wait we lost him huh? <laughs> he's coming back he just fell off. Wait a second. Okay, so you all right, open or bite you. Either we squeeze last or decline. They'll laugh and say it's not going to feel itself. And say decline the teeth. Then if they squeeze, go for one eighty, a uh, one eighty on them and say, "Oh my God, I can't believe you squeezed my butt." Are you so forward? Do you always do with this with the guys that you meet? Then dust off your butt. Jeez, you see that? If you're going to touch, touch a little higher. And you see that? Did uh, come back? Where'd you go? Did you fell off? Did you uh, see this? This is what you guys are today, in a different level. But this is this is how crazy it is, man. Look at he's, yeah. See that? He's still coming. <laughs> <laughs> Me? What? Turn around. Uh, the both of you. And, and we ain't give her ass a little squeeze and then don't squeeze there. Yeah, we. <laughs> 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 
This is crazy. This is yes. Yeah, give her ass a little squeeze. This is that way for Duke to come back. He's, My bad. I was reading this whole thing. Didn't even know I left. Yeah. Uh, uh, but <laughs> dude, I swear I you. was dying laughing dude, reading this, bro. I'm just like, I is he a wingman? Like, what is this? This is how they were before women found out about the bullshit they were doing. And once women realized and started doing research and reading all the openers, the negs, the, the backwards compliments, they started to run game themselves. And that's when everyone started complaining. Then all of a sudden, women are bad all of a sudden. You see that? This is the history lesson, man. So you're, you're basically saying that guys kind of started this bullshit. Yes, it, yes. It was, all, it was all started by guys. Wow. It turns out the weakest dudes are the ones who are setting it up for everybody else. Fucking it up for everybody. Yeah, that's what it is. Wow, this is that. Well, I mean, that that's basically what it is, man. I mean, that that's all I got to add to this. This is this is crazy. Is there like anything else you want to add to it? Like, no, no, uh, in this no. situation. No, I I just I I just I just want people to, that watch this to see the where it came from and who is who came from it. And, and this is uh, this is why again. You, if if you if you know it's about the real ones, they handle stuff on the back end. The reason I called them on the front end is to show you guys that look, I I, I just let you know how men do things. I told him where I'm going where I'm going to be in Las Vegas. If he's there, we'll meet up and talk. Yeah. But if not, at that point, that's all. See, that's all you can do as a man is put it out there for him to show up. And if he doesn't, I, there's nothing I can do about it. If he just keep talking, at that point, he just keep running his mouth. But all I, people will know that. At least I told him what was up, told him where to go. He ain't show up. Yep. Uh, well, you heard it from Dean here, guys. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, the moral story today that we just got done talking about is basically watch out who you follow, man. Some of these guys, I don't even give a shit if they've been around for the longest, man. Some, some of them, they don't really know what they're talking about or they get the information from guys who don't know what it is that they're talking about. Guys started this shit, man. It all started with us and literally it all has to end with us. These guys, I call them the old guards, the, 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 the hardliners over here that have been running the game for way too goddamn long. They don't know what the hell is talking about and they're out here corrupting your boys. All right. Even some of the grown men and women that follow some of these guys are out here regurgitating the same bullshit. And I know when it comes from guys like that, the guys that paint fingernails blacks and wear fucking goggles with hats and shit. That's where your shit's coming from. From weirdos with top hats. That's yeah. what it is. So yes. pay attention to who you're looking, looking, uh, looking up to. And that's why we do these videos, man, to expose the fakes and acknowledge the real. It's high time the real get the fucking product, uh, the the uh, the uh, the, uh, the uh, pro uh, props that it deserves. Real talk. That's pretty much what it is. So guys, that's pretty much it. Make sure you hit the like button, hit that sub button. Go over to my man, the Mind Man Side channel, and go ahead and sub to the channel, man. Real talk. Show some love all around because I mean we got out here exposing the stuff, man. This stuff is bullshit and it is what it is so with that being said guys i'll catch you guys on the next video peace